What's up guys, welcome to your 39th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically set up a new class. As you can see, I've already done it for the most part. And what we're going to do is call this class Camera. And again, what I want you guys to do is go into your menu class, change one of those string variables to our class name Camera, and also set it up in the manifest. Now, I've basically set up um, this... Uh, Sorry, I'm cleaning up some stuff that I was just practicing. I make sure I got got this application set up right for the most part. I basically set up uh, the general setup for any activity that we set have set up so far. I created the on click or on create method, and then I set the content view to that XML layout we just set up, and I also initialized or created this ver or method called initialize. That's where I set up all my references, and I also set up my on click listeners. Now, as you can see, I said this, so um, we need to implement and create an on-click method for the most part. I just wanted to show you guys that because you guys might have some trouble setting that up. Um, for the most part, I've gotten emails sometimes when I do tutorials like this. So again, we say implement view dot onclick listener, and we try and you know import that for the most part. And it's giving us an error, and we can't like you know do anything. We're like, what's going on? What I like to do is just basically type out view for the most part, and then um, let's see if we can import it like that. Yeah, just hover over it after you type view within your actual class. Then you just hit import view, delete this here, and then it's pretty much good to go. Um, if not. Uh, it'll just ask you to change this to on click listener and delete the view sometimes but hopefully that's good to go I just want to show you guys that that's how you get rid of that error for the most part and now we can say add unimplemented methods and I just copied and pasted because I set up basically a switch that would take in well I need to change it now take in the view that's pressed get the ID and determine whether it's the set wallpaper button or again the take the picture button so basically same kind of setup we've done already but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically get our application to take a picture and return some data so what we want to do is we're gonna kinda use the same process that we did for our oh, I forgot what we what we made for our email application so we're gonna open an, an, an intent and we're gonna set the intent equal to basically the camera app application so we're gonna say um, we're gonna define our intent up above our classes so we can use it in multiple methods so we're gonna say intent I is what we're gonna call this intent and then within the take picture switch in case that you guys will set up just hit dot I dot um, I'm sorry I equals new intent just like we've always done and basically the camera application is in our manifest we don't see it but it has an action name so we're gonna to refer to the action name of, of the camera by going Android dot uh, provider dot um, media store basically all our media is within the media store package or class then we hit dot and we have some choices we can either get uh, a camera capture or I'm sorry a image capture or video capture uh, for action so we're gonna use image capture because we're gonna p take a picture and then try and get that data back so now what we need to do is basically start our intent so we're gonna say start activity but we want it to return some val some data to us for the most part we want to get the picture that was taken so instead, instead of just saying start activity we're gonna say start activity for result and this is an actual method. I didn't make this one up. It kind of looks like something I make up. But uh, we're going to start an activity for a result. And then within the brackets, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our intent. And then we're going to hit a comma and basically set up a variable that we're going to collect the, that's going to collect the data. And it's going to be an integer type variable. So we're going to say uh, camera data is what we're going to call this variable. And we're going to set this up. Um, since we don't have a variable yet called camera data, we're going to again set this up above our classes. So we're going to say int for integer and camera 
data and uh, we're actually going to set this equal to zero and you guys also need to say final static which will basically mean it's going to stay I mean don't worry about that again that's for Java for the moment but um, basically we set up an integer variable that's equal to zero and then we're going to start an activity for the result and pass in an intent which will be opening our camera app activity and then we're gonna get some data back from the most part I'll show you guys how to get that data back in the next tutorial hope you guys watch and enjoy so have a good one and see you then